So tonight we're getting answers about the SRO scene in a now viral video. It shows that SRO using force to take an East Ridge High School student into custody. And now we're hearing from Chattanooga's NAACP branch on this arrest. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman Whitfield. And I'm Josh Rowe, Hamilton County's new sheriff and school leaders are now also talking to us about what happened. News Channel 9's Brianna Idzior following this story. Brianna, that officer's body camera video could be released soon. That's right, Josh. Uh, Sheriff Austin Garrett says that the viral video only shows a short part of what happened, and he says he plans to release footage showing the rest of the incident. But one local pastor and the NAACP are still speaking out in support of the young man who's a student right here at Eastridge High School. A video that's now gone viral shows part of what happened after an arrest affidavit says 18 year old Taurus Sledge got into an altercation with a gym teacher after not participating in a gym activity but only in free time activities. The affidavit says the gym teacher got the student resource deputy Tyler McRae involved who in the affidavit says Sledge's loud and aggressive behavior led to this. Sheriff Austin Garrett sent out a statement saying after a full review of the evidence, including school resource deputies body cam video and school surveillance video, he says in part, quote, I intend to make this body worn camera video available to the public. The contents of the video will show the complete picture of the events that occurred that day surrounding this deputy's use of force at East Ridge High School. Pastor Jeffrey Wilson says as a father of a 14 year old boy, the video that went viral was upsetting to watch. But to see a child, <clears throat> excuse me, in a school setting, drugged by his hair uh, and just treated in that way in front of other students. It's humiliating. I Pastor Wilson used to be on the Hamilton County School Board and says he thinks improvements can be made. I think that with cultural sensitivity training, these type of situations nine times out of ten can be prevented. I tried to ask Hamilton County Superintendent Dr. Justin Robertson Wednesday about the incident. I mean, I'm going to have the same statement that we put out yesterday. We're working with Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. Uh, they're doing an internal review as we speak. Uh, and once that's done, you know, we'll take steps uh, appropriately to move forward. Ann Pierre, president of the Chattanooga branch of the NAACP, says she spoke with Sludge and his family. And the young man is an excellent student. And he knew his rights in terms of when you're in a school situation, no one has a right to put their hands on you. She's calling for the community support. We need to stand behind the young black people in our school system, particularly the young black men, because they're not treated in the same manner. And when they tell us this, we need to listen. Sledge is being charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and assault. Live in East Ridge, Brianna Idzior, News Channel 9. Brianna, thank you. An attorney for that SRO also released a statement. It claims people making threats against that SRO on social media and that the 15-second video is only a fraction of what the body camera shows. They're asking the public to, quote, allow this matter to be investigated and cease making statements that scare uh, sometime, actually scare some and inflame others without knowing the whole story, end quote. The school board member for that district, Larry Grone, also sent a statement. It says in part, quote, it's unfortunate for the young man, but this is the type of situation which can happen when a person refuses to comply with rules and instructions, end quote. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Let's see for ourselves what a model student this kid really is. to get him one-on-one -on -one. and he's at the basketball and he comes to me and I grab the basketball and then he sort of butts on me and comes at me into my face 
and he won't talk to me. And he says, you're a racist motherfucker and I'll kick your fucking ass. Quote. You know, it's Katie. I ain't, I ain't fucking that shit. But I want to have a conversation in front of you with him. Because he got to know he was wrong and I'm talking to him. I just got to switch to this class because the administrators, my cap counselor, whoever came out, the teacher for my institute. My institute, I've been taking all four Blaylock. years. Blaylock. Blaylock. Yes. Okay. Mr. Blaylock. I've been taking all four years. It ain't my fault. And if they can't hire another teacher, okay. keep a teacher in that class. Okay. So with that being said, my institute, here. my guidance counselor put me in here. Okay. Not knowing that I told him I wasn't feeling good. Came to, came to him about that. That was Mr. already done. Done on about. Yes. Done on about. We left alone. Okay, cool. We cool. I'm up there in the bleachers sitting down. Finally, when I come, come down from off the bleachers, you want to come at me aggressively. What happened to you? you supposed to be in the bleachers. Like, that's not how you talk to me. You can be a good citizen, but be aware. When you talking to me, it's respect. Those who want respect, give respect. So what happened after that? After that, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing else to discuss. I walked off and continued on what I was doing. I'm not finna talk to a good old citizen. Good old citizen. Just a good old boy. Never mean it no harm. Beats all you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Come on, man. Don't beat around the bush and try to dog whistle. Just say what you mean. You could have your love, you know, you feel me? That's not gonna resolve nothing. If I'm not doing that, if I'm minding my own business, don't come to me no type of way. And how you bumped up against hey, me like that? We're talking about How you bumped up against hey, me like that? As a teacher, you didn't play as a teacher. I, 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 I told you, you been, I wasn't feeling we, good. We, 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 we've been quiet. Hey, I'm been, minding my own business. I walked out. Can I have work? Okay, I organized game. You didn't play. I asked you why you didn't play. You told me you didn't feel well. I didn't. I didn't buck on your name. I said, okay, that's fine. Next thing you know, the basketballs come out, and now you're on the floor. So I came up to you, and I was like, I thought you were sick when we were playing kickball, and now you're not sick anymore. And that's when you you went from here to like that, and you shut it down, and I couldn't talk to you. And that's where we are. I asked you a question. I said I thought you were sick when we were playing kickball, and then you went. Zzz. And you changed twofold. Like I was coming at you. And then you said, don't come at me like that. I was like, I'm asking you a question. I'm not coming at you. If I came at you, you'd know it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm 50 years old. I'm too old for that stuff, okay? I've been, I've been doing this for 26, 50 years. All right? I've got a little bit of experience. So if you think I'm coming at you, totally wrong, 100%. But as a teacher and as a person of... of Respect that I do respect these kids. You ask any kids in here. When you call me racist, I'm the most least racist person in the school. You ask anybody around here. Black, white, or indifferent. Kids, young kids, adults. I guarantee you, I treat this man, this man, this man with the same respect as they treat me. Don't call me racist. As a teacher, you're my student. I ask you a question. And you could not answer it. And you just got really upset. That's what we're at. That's, that's exactly what I did from the moment I came in this okay. class. You asked some only when I asked if you could open up the door. What, what Your door? question was regarding to why, why this, why that, and I gave you a simple question in return, but you wanted to go further with the, um, with the. Now the only the question I asked you was, question. Question. the only question, question I asked you was, why could you not play our game? game. You still I'm talk talking. Talking. I'm talking. I like to talk about it. I let you talk. I let you say what you had to say. What you said over there. Supposedly, that's not what you said. You came to me aggressively, and I said I'm talking in a calm, in a calm voice. Oh, I never been to you. you still had your voice raised while I'm telling you, trying to explain to you why I came down from the bleachers. But you still had your voice up. See, this is why my voice gonna stay this calm because I'm gonna show you how you was doing me right there. I would keep my tone like this. I would I asked you a question. I'm like, why are you not sick now? When you were it don't girlfriend? matter. I gave you your I'm answer. Argue. I'm not arguing. And you still kept coming at me aggressive. And I let it go and I walked off, minding my own business as I was doing. And then I walked up there on the bleachers and sat down. The reason why you asked me, why was I on the bleachers to begin with, right? Minding yeah. my own business. Once again, so why are you coming at me aggressive? Okay, that's I'm my a, question. I'm a PE teacher. Why? You, you, why? Okay, you asked me a question, I'm going to answer. I'm a PE teacher. 
Our two classes are playing a kickball game against each other. Coach Murray versus Coach Mather. I look up and you're in the bleachers. That don't got nothing to do with me feeling sick. I didn't know you were sick at that time. That's why I asked you the question. I'm like, why are you in the bleachers? How many times I got to tell you? Okay, okay, okay. I think the thing is, is you were sick. But then when he allowed you guys to have free time, and then you decided you right. wanted, wanted to play. Not that I decided, but at the time when I was up feeling myself, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to interact. Is that a problem? Yeah, but if he was designed a lesson, well, he didn't participate in his lesson. He designed lesson. a lesson. A lesson is not to go out there and play with students just because that is, This is a physical them. education class. That is yeah, like a lesson. Yeah, it is. I get that. So and I came down. The lesson, I came so down on my time when I was putting myself and I went down. So how is that a problem? The problem is our, our kickball game we were playing against Coach Madden. That's not the it. point. It's not yeah. about the kickball game. It's, it's about game. me not feeling myself. I, I didn't How many say, times I got to say that? I didn't say a word to you about not playing. Did I say anything? I thought, that's fine. You came to me after I, after I came down on the bleachers. That's my whole point. You keep talking about the game. You understand the game. I asked the question? We're doing a kickball game. You keep talking about the game. That's you the don't whole play. point. You know, when we had free time in basketball, that's when you did it. And I asked you a question. So why are you feeling better now than you, when you wasn't early? It was 10 minutes ago. And I think that's a legitimate question. I, it doesn't matter it if I'm matter. up there on the bleachers and I'm just now, I'm telling you, I was okay. feeling myself. It's the reason why I came down from off the bleachers. It don't matter about no basketball. It don't matter about no no kickball. It, ain't, it don't got nothing to do with none of that. I said I was feeling sick. If I'm feeling sick, I'm going to be up there on the bleachers. Where did you not understand that? Right. When I'm feeling myself, I'm going to come down. Where did you not understand that? Holy shit. Somebody needs a nap. Come to think of it, I could use one as well. What did you not understand in that? Lower your voice. Lower your voice. Oh, I'm just losing myself. Anything gives you want to come from it. I don't want to. If you want to talk to right anybody, I, I got a lawyer. Anything, but you're not going to come in no type of way and disrespect hold on, me. Hold on, hold on. Get your hold hands on. off me. So the kid says he's leaving. Notice how the cop puts his hand out gently and allows him to just walk right into it. That's a smart move. Hold on, man. Get your hold hands on. off me. Hold on. Get your hands off me. I said, hold on. You got five seconds to get your what hands off me. What the fuck are you going to do? You got five seconds what, what to get you your hands do? on me. What you going to do? You got five seconds you got, to get your hands off me. I gonna ain't going to do doing nothing. You going to exactly. get your ass off, up off of me and get out my presence like you got some sense. Be a good citizen like you is. How about you be a good citizen, not raise your voice? With that badge on your hook. And causing a big scene inside the gym. Nah, I ain't causing you're really pushing for disorderly conduct. I ain't pushing that. You are. If I'm pushing some, all right. Like I said, stay right. Okay. Fucking A. I'm totally convinced that this kid just wants to look tough, but he looks to be about 75 pounds. This probably won't end well for him. Come on, man, get your stuff. Let's go. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Because even Mr. Perry wants you to get you stuff because he wants you to meet him over there. So let's go. I don't care about what Mr. Perry said. I'm in this class. I just got in this class. Okay. Let's go. What you say to me, dog? Let's go. Get Come the on. fuck out my face. Come on, man. You finna take a ride to jail, dude. I ain't fucking with you. Who the fuck is you talking about ride to jail? I ain't do you. shit to begin with. It's called disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. You ain't and let's go. Down. No. Go ahead. Get up off the bleachers. That's fine. You can record all you want. I've been recording the whole time. That's cool. Get up off record, the bleachers. Keep recording. I'm I hope you got to. everything I said in there, too. So let's go. Come with me. Stand up and come with me. Stand up and come with me. I'm telling you to stand up and come with me for causing a disorder inside the gym in front of everybody else. You don't need to be in here. Mr. Perry's telling you to come out. I'm telling you to come on, so you need to get up and come on. I'm giving you a lawful order to get up and come on now. All right, man. Take the backpack off. We need to go to the gym. Don't resist me, dude. What is it? Don't resist me. 
Don't do it. I got you. Leave it out of here. Okay. Put the badge back on like the camera you should have been. Take the Why is you still holding me, man? Because you're not listening to a lawful order that I'm giving you. Take the bag off. You still, still holding me. Can you? Can Why is y'all still on me at this point? Why my parents ain't been called? Because Cause cause you put still my dad ain't on listening phone. to put my me. Dad on the phone. Take the bag off. Why are you trying to get me to retain my stuff off of me? This is my. This is my property. This is no, me. I'm not trying to steal it. I'm trying I to don't off. care. You just, just detain you in handcuffs. You just threw me around. Because you didn't listen. I told you to get up. I, I didn't have get no up. right to be treated the way you, you treated me. Why are you still I'm holding me? I've been told you to give me a second. You keep back. Do you not, do you not time, understand that when I say give time, me a second, that means move, remove yourself away from time, me. Remove you, yourself away from me. Every time remove I give you a second, you don't remove take yourself back away from me. I will let you go if you will take will this you bag off. Will you remove yourself away from me? I will let you go if you take this bag off. Will you remove yourself away from me? I just told you what I would do. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. Take the bag off, dude. Take it off. You're going to jail for disorderly conduct resisting at this point. Take the bag off. What's up, sweetheart? You good? No, I'm not good. I literally just got thrown around by the police. Like, I haven't done nothing. They simply called, called the administrators down here, which is the teacher that, um, that I'm in for physical education. Like, he called the administrators down, knowing I didn't have no wrong I was in and no wrong. I simply came to him and when he asked me a question was on um, why am I at the bleachers and I told him I wasn't feeling good. I exited the bleachers when I started feeling myself and he wanted to come in here aggressive so he got a, a, a police officer down here pulling on my lock, slamming me into the um, bleachers like, I'm, like I had no, I'm at the school and they still, they still, would, they would not let me go. And, All right, take the bag off. I'm not doing nothing. Take the bag off. Nothing is going to happen. You are, fixed to, you, get up here. you are fixed to get put in handcuffs I'm one not. way or another. I'm not. Take I'm the not. bag off. Take it off. Take I the bag off. no right to be slumped. Take the bag the off. Take straight. the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. I'm going to spray you again. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take it off. Take the bag off. You're refusing a lawful order for me to be able to put you in handcuffs. Take the bag off. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. Take it off. Take the bag off. Take the bag off. I'm going to take the bag off. We can get you decontaminated once the backpack is off. Take the bag off. Take it off. I know it sucks. If you would have just listened, this, couldn't have, this wouldn't have happened. That's all. That's all you had to do was listen. You're still going to resist. You want it some more, dude. Because I, That's fine. I got a whole can. Take the bag off, man. That's all you have to do is take the bag off. Take the bag off. I, 
I told you to take the bag off. I got you on camera. That's fine, dude. And here come the waterworks. Take the bag off. Take it off. I can't breathe. If you take the bag off, we'll get you decontaminated. That's all it is. I can't breathe. Give me a nurse up here. Roll over, man. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over and sit up. Roll over and sit up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Roll over and sit up, dude. Daddy, Roll over. Roll over and sit up, dude. Thank God I'm out of my mouth. I can't breathe. Roll over and sit up. Roll over and sit up. Roll over and sit up. Dude, I'm trying to help you. Roll over and sit up. Roll over and sit up. Roll. Let me sit up. I, that's what I'm trying to get you to do. Let go of the bag, dude. We got a nurse here to help you we with the spray. Flushed, okay? So can we get you into the bathroom and get you to start flushing your eyes out? Because that's the only yeah. thing that's going to help that spray, okay? Yeah. 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 Yes. I can't breathe. He is sitting up. I'm trying to catch up on my breath. Come on, man. I'm get, good. I'm just trying. Give me your hand. I'm good. To, Let go of the backpack. I'm trying to. Let go of the backpack. I'm trying to. So he can help you. I'm trying to catch up on my breath. I got you. Yeah. The more you struggle and get him, the harder it is for you to catch up. Just let go of the bag. 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 This is my so stuff. We can, I, I don't want to we're not stuff. taking your stuff. It ain't about my stuff. It's not about you taking it. That's not the point. You keep wrestling with me. And I because you're me. not listening. You're resisting me. So give me the stuff. I'm give me your hand. I'm not if I'm out of my own business. And I kept telling you to let go of me. If you stop fighting me. You, dude, chill out. And just give me your hand. I'm not doing nothing. I'm literally not even defending myself. I didn't put my hands on you. I'm not doing anything. I literally stayed content. I stayed calm. I kept my mouth closed at some point. It is not no right for you to slam, slam me against the bleachers and pull in my locks. I absolutely didn't do anything. Right, Are you spraying me with mace in the middle of me talking? No. I kept telling you to do on the phone with my ass. father on top of that. I didn't. I wasn't even acknowledging you at that point. You sprayed me in the face. Well, I kept telling you to give me your hands, give me the bag, and everything else. You I listen. had a right to call my people because I feel threatened. Come on, let's stand up. And let's go. You to, ain't making me feel safe. Let's stand up and go to the bathroom so we can flush your eyes. Come on. <laughs> I'll help you up. Can you let's let go. go of me? I can get myself up. No, you've been spraying. 
One, two, three, stand you up. You do not make me feel safe. I said. One, two, three, stand up. Times, could you please let go of me, remove yourself from me so I can get myself together? That's not how this works, man. Come on. Stand up. <coughs> oh, what? Come on. Stand up. One, two, three, let's go. Come on, man. Do you want to get your eyes flushed out? Let's go. Hey, Come on, I man. Said I don't feel safe. Okay, do you want the nurse to help you up? Because she's standing right here. Would you like her to help I, you up? I, 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 I don't feel safe. Do you want the nurse to help you? I feel very tough. I can't even. Can me and Mr. Perry help you I can't even okay? feel my throat. Officer McRae steps away. Can I help you? I can't even. Dude, my chill with the bag, man. Okay. Just, I'm not trying to take your stuff and steal it. I know you're not I'm trying, trying to take my stuff and steal it. You is not making me feel safe, and I told you. Come on. Remove yourself from me. I'm trying to help you stand up so we can go to the bathroom. I never fought you. you I never resisted anything. Okay. Please remove yourself away from me. Okay. He's let go of you. Can we help you stand up and get you to the restroom to flush your eyes out? Okay. The reason it's hard to breathe is because you've inhaled some of that pepper spray, okay? That's going to ease up eventually, but we need to flush your eyes out. That's the only way it's going to get out of your eyes. Your eyes are going to continue to burn, okay? So can we calmly get you into a restroom to flush your eyes out? Can you do that for me, okay? That is not appropriate behavior, okay? Okay. I just want to make sure you're okay. So in order to get your eyes flushed, we need to get you into a restroom and start splashing cold water on your eyes to flush all that irritant out. Do you want me to know that you have the product on two or three? I'm not sure that you will. Can we do that or are we just going to sit here? The entirety of the story. Yeah. So from my point of view, this kid is a spoiled, rotten, entitled snowflake who hates crackers. He thought he could threaten a teacher with violence and face zero consequences. But when he got sprayed in the face with the spiciest hot wing sauce he's ever had, he cried like a little bitch. We need to get his eyes decontaminated. Yeah. We, we need to get his eyes flushed out. Can we walk you into the restroom? There's one right down the stairs. I don't feel the same. You still got this man. <coughs> I have to be here at this point. Unfortunately, I can't control that. Okay? I, didn't, I didn't resist to anything. I, I, I'm my, 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 my own business. I stayed to where I was at. My mouth closed. He didn't have no right to physically take me in any type of way. Okay, but right now we want to clean your eyes. Yeah. Out, I you know, all I'm right now is about what? I can't control that, okay? But what I can help you do is try to get your eyes flushed. But the only way we can do that is to get you in the restroom and you start putting hard water on your eyes. That's, that's the only way that's going to flush all those irritants that was in that spray out. Because otherwise, we're going to continue to burn. Okay? The breathing will eat up, okay? But your eyes is going to take some time. Okay. I'm in the new gym with the students. They're still refusing to stand up and refusing to go get decontaminated. But the dad will probably try to enter to the front office. The cop is well aware that he will be under heavy scrutiny and possibly even lose his job. But he really had no choice. It's either get fired for not doing your job at all, or do your job and hope for the best. But this little shit caused this whole thing and forced the cop to raise the threat level repeatedly. Of course, there's a bunch of recordings and people taking pictures and stuff that goes in the gym too, as far as the kids. Yeah. So this is about to go viral, as I yeah. say. He refused to cooperate until his dad arrived. That looks like dad's right here at the door. You want a man? Uh, have a seat, man. Have a seat, bud. Just, just, have, sit, have a seat, just sit down, dude. Just sit down. You, have, you haven't made it properly decontaminated yet, which is what we need to do. Okay? Is this your dad? I guess. He is. Is he okay? Come in. For now. 
Are you his dad, sir? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Can I speak to you out here, please? All right. Deputy McCurry, I'm going to start here at the high school. So the situation is... The father was oddly quiet, but listened to the officer explain his side of the story. Then when they let Mr. Sledge see his son, Torres, the kid gets up immediately. I'm glad to see this kid have so much respect for his father, but something's rotten in my diaper. Wait, not diaper, I mean Denmark. Why hasn't this father explained to his son how to deal with police? It's obvious this kid idolizes his dad. Doesn't he want his son to succeed in life? He should have taught him that you don't fight the police at the scene, you fight them in a courtroom with a lawyer, paperwork, and money. I just couldn't resist looking a little closer at Alexander Sledge. So here's his Twitter profile. Let's just see a little of his activity. Looks like we may be a little stuck in the past. Megan Rap and Ho. I've got news for you, bud. We don't like her either. Holy shit! I find this one deeply offensive. These aren't snow chimps. These are regular chimps. Seems kind of racist. After seeing that and the police body camera footage, you could very easily come to the conclusion that the entire incident could have been avoided just by having a tiny amount of respect and compliance. But even after the release of the footage, the students decided to have a walkout. East Ridge High School students demand answers after a controversial arrest in their school. Our News Channel 9 Skyview shows the morning walkout that happened at the start of the school day. Students gathered demanding justice for their classmate who was caught on camera being arrested by an SRO. That's right, Greg. I'm here at East Ridge High School where students walked out onto the football heel field just behind this building here in protest of 18-year-old Taurus Sledge in the incident. Can somebody explain to me why this chick has glitter on her tits? Come on, man. She looks like she's been at the club all night getting wasted and pounded. With him and the SRO, Tyler McRae, early, earlier this week. And as you can see from this video that we're showing you now, the students were screaming chants such as, no justice, no peace, and I'm not resisting. Finally. The snow chimps have arrived. Students walked out of class around 8.45 this morning to gather on the football field. They then marched around the track before returning to class. A district spokesperson tells us the students were peaceful. What we saw today was a peaceful expression of student voices about an incident that happened at their school this week. We've heard from voices throughout the community and will continue to do so. We're uh, pleased with the peaceful demonstration we saw this morning and letting students be heard on an issue that did in fact affect them and their school. Now the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department tells us that Deputy McRae was back on the job yesterday. Reporting live, I'm Jordan Karnback, News Channel 9. To all the kids at East Ridge High School, does a scenario exist? wherein it is acceptable for a white cop to reprimand a black student? If so, what does it require? And to the Hamilton County school system, why does this school look like the set of a fucking 1970s horror film? Can we get a fresh coat of paint or something? At the very least, get a can of WD-40 for this bathroom door. For fuck's sake, it sounds like someone is mistreating an elderly cat. So that's basically the whole story to my knowledge, up to this point. Stories like this will continue to pop up until the kids learn how to deal with authority figures. There has to be a better technique than just being a racist sack of shit to anyone who questions you. But as long as the parents are just as ignorant as the children, things will only get worse. That's why I spend so much time trying to find humor in this stupidity. Just try to laugh and get some sleep if you can. That's all for now. Until next time. True international pressure.